Hi, Scorpio. I'm driving and pulling cards like I do. It's your turn, and um, I'm going to pull a few cards, and we're going to see what we get and see what we can do about it or what advice you may have or, you know, whatever it is. So here we go. The first card you get, Scorpio, is the fucking Five of Swords. So your energy is the Five of Swords. Um, we all know what that means, and that's not a good thing. So what the hell has you so hurt? And do you feel like you're self-sabotaging? Like, like you are doing it yourself, or is it that somebody else is doing it? Because sometimes we don't realize that we create some of our problems. Have you ever heard the saying, what, tangled webs that we weave? Like, tangled webs we weave? So, I don't know if you guys have ever heard that saying before, but something that I've heard down here in Georgia many times is, you know, when someone does something and they get it all caught up in their shit because they've created so much shit, you kind of say, well, what, tangled webs we weave? You know what I mean? So, that's kind of a thing. Anyways, I don't know if y'all do it, but whatever. My thing is that was what I was getting with this card. And normally I don't. But for some reason, I feel like your self-imposed pain right now because you're allowing someone to do it. Like, you can't control someone else's actions, but you can control what you stick around for. If that makes any sense. All right. Let's see what you get next. Oh, it's crazy already. The Eight of Wands. Shit, this is like one of the fastest moving, like, energies in the deck. And... With that and the Five of Swords, I would say that whatever the fuck came at you came at you out of nowhere and hit you pretty damn hard. Um, it kind of, I don't know, man. It kind of just fucking knocked you back. This energy is literally like gung-ho, get it. You know what I mean? Like full force. And then something has to come to a complete stop. And as it does, all of that back force from where that item was still in the air has gathered all that strength and all that pressure. I don't know what you would call it. I'm not a scientist. And when it hits you, you get all that fucking back energy with it, if that makes any sense. It's like a double whammy, and it's super fast, and when it hits you, you know it hits you. Um, and that's exactly what this card is telling me. King of Swords the next card. All right, now, what the fuck? All right, so, King of Swords... Not exactly the nicest king, but, you know, it is what it is. Um, it's a very intelligent person. This could be you or someone around you. Um, it doesn't have to be a, a, a man, you know what I mean? Because, you know, there's no gender in tarot. I'm sure you've heard that before. But with the case that I'm getting on this situation, it's probably not you for some reason. I don't know why I'm saying it's not you, but I don't think it is. I think it's somebody that you're dealing with. I think this is the person that did some fuckery to you super fast and caused you to be in this file of swords energy. And... The King of Swords, literally, you know, he's so stoic and cold. Granted, he is intelligent, and he does do what he has to do to take care of his business. But he's not very lucky. You know, he could always... We would we're much rather have pulled a King of Cups. Let me tell you that much right now. Okay? I'd much rather pull that. Now, if you are... I mean, you're Scorpio. You're not a water... You know, you're a water sign. You're not an air sign. So, I'm not going to associate this at all with you. I'm just going to say this is someone you're dealing with. Um, and this is the type of energy that they bring to the table. And as far as your energy and what you're bringing to the table in regards to this person and not overall, the Nine of Pentacles, boo, that's self-independence, um, taking care of yourself, showing this person, like, fuck you, I can do it on my own, um, I'm not codependent on you, it's not what you thought it was, I wanted you, I don't need you, and that's the energy I'm getting from this fucking Nine of Pentacles, which is fantastic, um, you're, you're learning to create your own success, your own wealth, your own stability, and that way no one else can take it from you again, and no one else can hold it over your head, and no one else can be cold and instruct you what to do with what you have, and I really feel that that's where you're going right now. All right, see so what you get next. I'm going to pull a few more cards. Oh, God, here we go. King of Pentacles. All right, so are you involved with two people, Miss Press? Or Mr. Priss, are you involved with two people? Because I pulled a king of fucking swords, then I pulled a king of pentacles. Two different energies. Two different people. Um, 
Granted, I could also say that you being in the Nine of Pentacles, if you continue on doing your own damn thing, you will be in the King of Pentacles energy. Now, that could also resonate for some of you. But more than likely, I think somebody's in a triangle, a love triangle here. And I don't know if it's a willing thing or who knows what and what knows who and every damn thing else. But I have a feeling like there's some juju going on there that don't nobody need to know about. <laughs> the Hermit. Virgo. Virgo energy. Um... I think you're trying to organize your shit right now. You're trying to get your life on track. You're trying to organize every bit of it from the outside to the inside. You're trying to go within and figure out what the fuck you really want. Because you don't really know, I don't think. I think you think you know. But when you really have the choice, would you choose the thing that you think you would choose? Because when you're really faced with that decision, and it will be thrown back in your face at some point or another... Um, that's what you're preparing for with the Hermit card right here. And I feel that you're going to literally have to make that decision. You're going to have to show God, Spirit, whatever you call Him, that you learn your lessons. Because He does test us. He does. And, and the or Spirit, and Universe, whatever you want to call it. I call it God. Call it whatever you will. Um, he will test you. So the Universe will test you to make sure you learn those lessons. Because if not, you're going to go around and around and do them again. Um, we don't want to do that no more. We don't want to do that no more. This shit ain't no fun. Hold on a second. I gotta turn. Remember, driving and pulling cars. These fucks get in my way. Alright, next car. Four Pentacles. Yep, yeah, you are literally holding on to your money because I think you are making a decision. Um, between not only two people, but you're making a decision to figure out if you're going to be with any of them at all. And you're just going to stack your fucking money and do your own damn thing and walk away from the situation altogether and just see what the hell happens after that. For a lot of you, I feel like that is the decision that you're going to make. You're not going to try to pick between people. You're not going to pick between these kings. You're going to stack your money and you're going to focus on that. Because that's important to you right now. That way you can reach that nine of pentacles energy that you feel like you are in because you are on the way to that. All right, I pulled the Empress. Last card I was going to pull, too. It's kind of cool. Last card for you, Scorpio, is the Empress. Keep doing what you're doing. Because you're in Empress mode right now. You're heading towards Empress mode. That's going to be your possible outcome if you continue to do the right things that you're doing by yourself and taking care of yourself first. You've given to so many people for so long that haven't appreciated you. And you get a bad rap for your sign, which is stupid because Scorpio is a pretty amazing sign in my opinion i'm not just saying that because i'm a fellow water sign but i'm saying that because you guys you have an ability to reach depths in people that nobody can and then you can bounce back and nothing that that person said can sway your 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 opinion of that person like if that makes any sense i mean i'm sure there's something that they could do but i mean that's not what we're trying to do here so what i'm saying is that like you are the secret gatekeepers like you keep everyone's secrets like you are 12th house full of fucking getting the energy in my opinion and like you know it is what it is but I really think that your sign is a beautiful and under um underestimated maybe I won't say underestimated but maybe like misunderstood that's what I'm saying a very misunderstood sign because you guys are very emotional and very deep maybe not as um wearing it on your sleeve like cancer does or like we do but you have that same you know, mobile grinding mind thing going on that we do. And only good thing about that situation with you is that you can keep it from showing on your face. We can't. Um, we are too much into that feeling situation to, to, to detach from it. You are closer to that detaching side of the zodiac scale. Like, you think about it where you're at and you're you sitting and how it goes like Pisces and then it goes into like Aquarius. They're very detached. You're on that end of the spectrum, sort of, going into that end of the spectrum on the wheel. And I do feel that that is what helps you in some ways to be like a um, a more emotional version of an Aquarius. But you're a whole different side. Like, I, don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to say y'all are humanitarian. Y'all do all this and y'all do all that. And that's not what I'm saying. As far as the intuition and the water and the being able to detach from your emotions and be different than just a plain old water sign usually is, then yes, you are a lot like more like an Aquarius. So they're the water bearer. They can bear the emotions of the water signs and step the fuck away from it and have a clear head and see what the hell's really going on. They have logic and they have feelings. Um, you know, and they are able to balance both, whereas most of our signs have more of logic and less feeling and more water signs have more 
feeling and less logic, you know. And then, of course, you've got your other things, too. But that's, anyway, we're not getting into all that today. I just wanted you guys to understand the um, basics of what I was telling you and how this situation works and what I got for you guys for Scorpio and keep your head up. I'm done saying and now. Y'all have a good one. Talk to you later.